Hey, Instagram and YouTube because this is also going to be on YouTube. Uh, let me let y'all come on in. Come on in. If you're watching this from YouTube and you have not subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button below and click that noti bell. This is for my YouTube folks. So you can get notified every time I post a video on the channel. And to all of my Instagram family, if y'all are not following me on YouTube, make sure you come follow me on YouTube. No, not follow me. Make sure you come subscribe. <laughs> come subscribe to me on YouTube, okay? Yes, y'all come on in. I just wanted to pop in on Instagram. Surprise y'all on Instagram this morning. Uh, Sharika, I can't wait for you to take the class neither. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, y'all come on in here this morning. Come on in here this morning, baby. Baby, when I tell y'all God been speaking, whoo, God been speaking, y'all. Do y'all understand me? Y'all, God been speaking. And I was trying to figure out which platform I wanted to do the, do the video on this morning. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to just record a regular video, hop on YouTube Live, hop on Instagram Live. So I'm sitting out here in the parking lot at Starbucks right now. <laughs> and I said, you know what? I'm just going to do an Instagram Live. It just felt right come on Instagram this morning. So I'm going to bring the word to y'all, bring a quick word to y'all this morning. This is... This is a prophetic word. It's, 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 you, could, you could classify it as a prophetic word because it's something that the Lord been putting in my spirit. And this is real, y'all. This is real. I'm smiling, but this is real. Do you understand me? This is real. This is serious. What I'm about to get ready to get into right now. Listen, and I put this on, the, on my Instagram page. I, put a, I made a meme out of this. And I also put this on my YouTube channel on the community page. And I told them I'm coming with a video for this. But y'all listen. The Lord said, watch out. Do y'all understand what I'm saying to you? God said, baby, you better watch out. <laughs> you better watch out. You better watch out. And I'm going to tell y'all why he said watch out. If it ain't happened already, it's finna get ready to start happening. Okay? Some folks going to start emerging some folks gonna start popping up some folks gonna start coming back some folks that you used to deal with okay i'm talking about your exes okay i'm talking about even friends that you used to fool with that you don't fool with no more they're gonna start coming back around to your table they're gonna start popping back up and i'm gonna tell you why even listen even folks that's that's rejected you even folks that's rejected you even folks that then uh, you know, did you wrong and left you, they gonna come back. And you know why they coming back? Because they see your glow. Baby, come on now. They see your glow. They see your glow. They, let me tell y'all something. That glow up is real. <laughs> that glow up is real. Do you understand me? Because when you get with God and you get in your purpose, God has a way of turning the clock back. Ooh, I feel God today. I'm gonna try not to preach out here this morning, y'all. But listen, God have a way of turning the clock back. So God will make it look like you ain't even go through what you went through. God will make it look like that man ain't do you like that. God will make it look like that woman ain't do you like that. God will have you looking like a whole king out here. Do you understand me? And she see you, baby, making moves. She see you doing this and doing that. Them spirits gonna try to come back, baby. The devil ain't finna let it go down like that. He ain't finna let you just get away like that. Oh, he gonna try to come back. Do you understand me? She gonna try to come back. And God said, that gonna be the test. That gonna be the test for you. Uh-huh. And the Lord say, I'm, I read a meme one time. It says, sometime God will send them back just to see if you still stupid. I said, my God. <laughs> Look, y'all ain't got to say nothing, but it, it just within your own self, you ain't got to say nothing on this live or down there in the comments on YouTube. But yeah, you, you done been stupid a couple times. Okay. You done been stupid a couple times and the Lord sent them back and you end up failing that test and the Lord, the Lord sent them back to let you see, to let you know, I'm still falling for the same tricks. <laughs> I'm still dealing with the same mess. You see what I'm saying? So God sent them back. God allowed them to come back to let you see what's wrong with you. To let you see what you still got going on. Because why is that even still appealing to you? 
See, when God elevates you, when God bring you higher, take you higher, elevate you, you growing, you up and then you coming up in your level of consciousness. You ain't thinking the way you used to think. What used to be attracted to you should not even be attracted to you no more. And I'm talking to my men and my women. Men, you, you, let me tell you something. Y'all kings, you got to get to the point where and I hear a lot of men say it ain't no good women out here. They, oh, it's good women out here. Do you understand me? It's good women out here. You just got to stop looking at their measurements, okay? You just got to stop looking at their hip size, okay? You got to stop looking. You got to know how to judge a woman by substance. Judge a woman by substance. Do you understand me? And women, it's still good men out here. I refuse. Do you understand me? I refuse. To, to to believe what all these folks saying now about the men is this and the men is that and it and, and ain't no good men out here and uh all the what they call them I don't even I can't even keep up with all the names the alpha alpha male and and orange peel and all this stuff listen I ain't I don't even look at all this stuff because I know whatever you focus on Whatever you give your attention to is going to expand. It's going to grow. Even if it's not that big, when you give your attention to it, it's going to seem big. So if you focusing on what these men saying, if you focusing on what these folks saying about uh, high value men and they don't want women that got children and they don't want women that's uh, a little overweight or they don't want, listen, that's exactly what you're going to get. I don't even look at that stuff. I don't even focus on it. Because I know whatever I focus on, that's exactly what the world going to give me. And I want to tell y'all something about God. God, all this stuff was going on today, it was not a surprise to God. God already knew they were going to come out with all this terminology about men and women and all this stuff. God say, baby, I am still capable of giving you your heart's desires. The only thing I'm looking for is your faith. Where is your faith? See, we got to know how to be in the world, but not of the world. Yes, you living in this world, but that don't mean you got to soak in everything these folks talking about. You can you can let them miss you with all that. And you go to the word. If you got something you desire, if you got something you want, don't go to these folks. Don't go to YouTube. Don't go to these folks' channels and they Instagram pages and stuff because people going to tell you from their own opinions. They're going to speak from their flesh. If you want something, if you desire something, you go to the word and find out what the word say about that. The Bible says that God will supply all of your needs. Do you understand me? He will supply all your needs, baby. He is Alpha and Omega. And if you want somebody, let me tell y'all something. If you want somebody, if you desire to be with somebody, and, and, and that's for good, the Lord gave you that desire, and the Lord going to fulfill that desire. He just needs you to wait for him. He just needs you to be patient. And you know what? For a lot of y'all, and I'm talking to my men and my women, the reason why you can't find nobody is because God is calling for you to save yourself in this season. You've been passing it out. You've been passing yourself out. And I'm not just talking about your body. I'm talking about your attention. Just giving your attention to any and everybody. The Lord is calling you to be stingy with that in this season. I'm talking to my men and my women. Because the Lord say, I got some stuff that I want to show you about you. And in your season, where you working on you, the devil going to send them back. Everybody from the past, baby, they coming back. Do you understand me? They coming back. Hey, big head. Yeah. Y'all going to get them texts. Hey, big head. What you doing? How the kids? How you been? Uh-huh. You going to get them texts. You going to get them phone calls. But see, the Lord say you got to keep your focus. You got to keep your focus. Because see, don't get flattered when these folks come back and think, oh, Maybe this is the time. And let me tell y'all how us women do. I can't speak for men because I ain't no man. But I can sure speak for a woman because I'm a woman. I know how us women do. You you, you know you shouldn't answer that phone. You know you shouldn't return that text. But you returning the text. You answering the phone. Why? Because you thinking maybe this time going to be different. It is not going to be different, baby. You have been growing. You have been elevating. They ain't been doing nothing. They still on the same step you left them on. So you got to be willing to move forward. Go straight on ahead, baby. Go straight on ahead and move forward. I'm telling y'all some real stuff. You, we, 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 we try to, we try to move forward, but we still try to stay still long enough for them to catch up to us, or stay still long enough for them to uh, come back around. Listen, you got to go. You got to move full speed ahead. 
full speed ahead because you got to understand that when they come back they coming back because they see what you're doing now they see you living in your purpose they see you living for God. They see you elevating. They see you changing your life. They see your smile. It's something different about your smile now. It's something different about your skin now. It's something different about, you know why? Because you've been working on yourself. You've been putting in that work on you. You don't work hard to get to the level that you at. Y'all know I'm telling you the truth. You don't work hard. Think about all the nights you done cried. All the nights you had to go on without them and they weren't stunning you. And, and you had to you had to go on without them. Come on now. And I seen that meme. Said don't don't let nobody knock you down. Don't let nobody bring you back down to a level that you had to pray your way out of. You know you had to pray your way out of that situation. You know you had to pray your way out of that relationship. You know how hard it was for you. So the Lord said, why would you go back? Why would you let them pull you back? And I'm going to tell y'all something. Your mind, your heart, it is deceiving. It'll tend to believe. It'll tend to focus on the good things that y'all went through. All the good memories that y'all had. All the good experiences that y'all had. But I heard somebody say this. They said, you got to remember the facts, baby. It's facts over feelings. Because it's a reason why that person ain't in your life no more. It's a reason why y'all ain't together right now. It's a reason why you didn't wake up to them this morning. It's a reason why. Remember that reason. Remember that reason. And remember your worth. I know your worth. I know that done been ran in the ground, but it's the truth. It's like we're going to keep hearing stuff until it really resonate with us and it stick with us that we really do have to know our worth. And if your worth mean being all by yourself, then that's just what you got to do. But you got to know the God that you serve and know that he, he is a rewarder, baby, to those that diligently seek him. If you continue to seek God, to seek your purpose, I'm telling y'all, God ain't going to leave you by yourself alone. It was God himself that said it ain't good for man to be alone. God don't want us to be alone. God want us with the right folks. He want us with the right folks. Do you understand me? And forget them other folks. They don't want you. This is this is this is this gonna hurt your ego, but it's gonna help you. It's gonna help your soul. Cause it hurt my ego when God revealed it to me. Cause I was like, Lord, they don't want me. Y'all know how we you just want we want everybody to want us. But everybody can't ain't, everybody ain't gonna want you. That's what God told me. He said they don't want you. They want your power. Do you understand me? They don't want you. They want your glow. They see what you, they see how you looking. They see how you moving. They see how all the moves you making, baby. And they, in these spirits that's in these folk, they wondering how you doing what you doing. So they coming back around to see what your secret is. They coming back around to see how you still making it without me. They coming back around to see, baby. And as soon as they got your attention, see, you ain't going to be stunned them when they come back around. You ain't going to be stunned them. I'm talking to my men and my women now. You ain't gonna be stunned because you're gonna be you're gonna be all in your own world. But see them spirits, baby, they manipulative and they are persistent. They will not stop. And they will keep coming until they weigh you down. You don't answer the first message, that's all right. They'll send some more. They'll send some more. You leave them on red, they don't care, they'll send some more. Them spirits is persistent and they don't stop till they catch you in that one moment where you so lonely and you so low that you respond by or you answer that call or you go by there or you ride by there and that's when the devil gets you. When you give him, when you give him or give her your attention, you will find out. And so y'all know I'm telling you the truth. How many times that that happened to you before? As long as you weren't worried about them, they worry about you. As long as you weren't thinking about them, they think about you. But as soon as you give in and you give your attention, you let your guard down, what they do? They leave again. They ghost you again. Come on now. They go They go cheat again. If they still there, they, they out somewhere doing something else. Why? Because they didn't want you. If they wanted you, when they got you, they would have straightened up. Why would they go back and do the same thing? Because they didn't want you. They wanted your power. See, the moment you gave them your attention again, you gave them your power. Now, this is what these spirits do. They take your power, okay, and they feed off of that, and they go put it on other people. See, it would be all right if they took your power and they reciprocated it and gave it back to you, but that's not what they do. They take your power and they go give it to Bonquisha. They take your power and they go give it to Keisha, to Shanae, to Mike, to Tommy. 
they gonna give it to them. They don't give it to you. They gonna give it to some. See, you you running behind somebody that don't want you, and they taking the power that they getting from you going to the person that they want. Who don't even want them? Because I don't know why we want people who don't want us. See, it's a mindset shift that have to take place. Until you shift your mind, you're gonna always go after that forbidden fruit. Until you shift your mindset, you're gonna always go after what don't want you. You're gonna always go after what something that's out of your out of your grade, out of your just way out of your out of your level. Not saying they better than you, but you got to get with who you are compatible with. I learned that. I learned that. And then you got to you got to you got to examine why did you even pick the person in the first place? Why did you even pick them in the first place? Because a lot of times we shallow and we pick from from how they look or maybe they maybe you like his cologne or maybe he was that height that you wanted you see what i'm saying so you got to go back and look at why did i even pick him in the first place why did i even pick her in the first place because it start off with that if you pick for the wrong reason you done already lost you done already lost it can't it can't do nothing but go down you done already lost We got to know how to mourn the loss of a relationship or a marriage and then move on. Move on. Life goes on. Life goes on. There's more things that God has for you. When these people come back, that's the enemy. That I know we want to be so flattered and we want to think, oh, you know, she just loves me so much. She can't let me go. Or, oh, he just loves me so much. He just can't let me go. No, this is spiritual warfare. I got, I got, God said we got to bring our ego down. Stop. Oh, he just want me. <laughs> she just want, yeah, man, she just want me. You know what I'm saying? She just, she just can't leave me alone. She, no, that's spiritual warfare. There's a spirit in that woman that came back because it don't like what you're doing. It don't like the moves you're making. And it came back to stop you. It came back to distract you and stop you. Get your head out the clouds. That's what God told me. That's what I'm telling y'all. Get your head out the cloud. Bring your ego down. This is not about yo. This is not about you physically. This is about your spirit. This is about your purpose. They are coming back to destroy your purpose. Yes, friendships too. The devil will send back friends. It's a reason why you and that person ain't friends no more. Remember that reason. Remember that reason. If they did you dirty one time, they'll do it again. You ain't got to hold no grudge against people, but you just know I can't, I can't, I can't deal with you on that level no more. We can't, we can't run on that level no more. Cause you done showed me who you are. The enemy does not want you. I got to get ready to go y'all. Cause I got a coaching session. He wants your power. He wants your glow. Do you understand me? He wants your light. These spirits, they demonic. Do you understand me? And they don't like light. They don't like light. These spirits that's in these folks, I'm telling y'all, they cannot stand to see you walking in your light. They cannot stand to see you glowing up. They cannot stand to see you just radiating and living in your purpose and growing and prospering. They can't stand it. It irritate them. And these spirits trouble these folks in their sleep. They can't even sleep at night cause they, and they don't even know why they staying up. They don't even know why they can't get no rest. They don't even know. Because they out here doing this, doing that. They out here in, involved in all kind of activity. I can't say it because I'm on these four platforms. But they out here involved in all these activities. They laying down with all these different folks and all kind of stuff. And they don't understand that all of this stuff is gateways. It's gateways. You opening up a gate. You opening up a door. And you allowing Satan to come in and set up shop. This what's going on with y'all exes. This what's going on with y'all old friends, y'all ex buddies. Uh huh. See why you somewhere pu being purified, cleansing your spirit, praying and meditating, self care, loving yourself and healing. These folks ain't doing that. See, we got to stop thinking everybody doing what we doing. These folks somewhere in some some old child. It'll blow your mind if you was to know what these folks were doing. Like they say, if I was a, if I could be a fly on the wall in some of these rooms, 
you will be surprised what you see and what go on. Do you understand me? We got to stop thinking that folks got the same mind we got. Stop thinking folks got the same heart you got because people wicked, baby. People are wicked and people will do anything. You got to protect your spirit. If they gone, let them stay gone. Because when they come back, they coming back with seven times more deadly spirits. Them spirits going to be worse than they was before. Because you let them out and then you let them come back in. So this time it's going to be harder for you to get free. This time it's going to be harder for you to cut them loose. This time it's going to be harder. Because you let them come back in. And when they come back in, the spirits are more aggressive. They more aggressive. Don't let the enemy steal your joy. Don't let him steal your power. Don't let him steal your glow. You know you work hard for this. You had to scratch and claw for this. Because every devil on that level was trying to keep you from going to your next level. But you work hard to get there. Don't you let no devil come back and, and snatch you back down to a level that you had to pray and cry and claw and scratch to get off that level. I'm telling y'all some real stuff today. If they ain't came by yet, they coming by. If you doing what you supposed to be doing and you glowing up and you elevating, God leveling you up, baby. Oh, they coming by. You just got to don't get caught up in your ego talking about, oh, I knew this stuff was good. He, I knew he was going to come by. No, that's spiritual warfare. And God said we got to stop being ignorant and wake up to what's going on. Wake up to what's going on. No, you're not that good. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I know I know it's going to bust your ego, but it's going to help your soul. You're not that good. You're not that good. Okay, it ain't because of something you do. It ain't that thing you do. It ain't none of that. It ain't none of that. It's spiritual warfare. The enemy knows that you are getting closer to your destiny. He knows that you're getting closer. And his job is to stop you. And one thing I admire about the enemy, he's serious about his assignment. He is serious about his assignment. He sit up all night long and he plans. He's strategic. When he come at you, when he come to hit, he ain't coming to play. Do you understand me? God said, we don't want to be sitting around playing, <laughs> thinking it's a <the> game. <laughs> and the devil done sat up all night trying to figure out how he was going to get you tripped up. And you walk around here with your head in the clouds thinking that this person just loves you oh so much. We got to wake up, baby. We got to wake up. Do you understand me? They coming back. They coming by. Don't get flattered. Don't 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 let you don't let your head get big. Don't think it's because they love you so much and they couldn't let you go. No, ma'am. No, sir. This is spiritual warfare. But see, we get distracted like that when we don't know who we are. If you don't know who you are, you don't realize who you are in the spirit. You don't know that you're a warrior in the spirit. That you have a high calling and a high purpose on your life. You will think that it's because of your flesh that they're coming back. If that were the case, baby, they would be running behind everybody because everybody has that. Everybody has that body part. Everybody got that. And I heard on the recording, they said the only thing about a man that is a man is his mind. Everything else you can find on a pig, a horse, a cow, on any other animal. So you see how ignorant it is for us to think that they coming back because of a body part or they coming back because of something that you physically have when everybody else walking the planet has that too. But everybody else don't have that calling on their life like you got. Do you understand me? Everybody else don't have that high calling. Everybody else don't have that gift, that spiritual gift like you have. That's what the devil wants. That's what he wants. He wants to steal your destiny. He want to steal your purpose. Don't let him take it. Wake up today. Wake up to who you are in the spirit. Don't lose everything that you worked so hard for. You've worked hard for this. Don't just give it away. Because I'm going to tell y'all, the enemy will come and he will flatter you. Oh, he will flatter you just like Delilah did with Samson. Oh, yes, baby, running her fingers all through his hair. Yes, that's how the enemy do. He will flatter you. Oh, you so beautiful. Oh, you so sexy. Oh, you so fine. Oh, you so this. Oh, you so that. Uh-huh. Until they get your attention and they get your power. And then after they done snatched that, they going on about their business. And they going on to the next one. And then what you sitting now, now you need to go get a session with a coach. Because you just, you just, you just discombobulated. You just don't even know your left from your right. It, you just left in a hot mess. See, God said we got to be smart. 
The Bible says that we have to be wise as a serpent. What that let you know? That the devil is smart. He's cunning, baby. So you got to be smarter than he is. Don't let the enemy knock you down to a place that you had to claw and scratch your way out of. Because God going to let him come back. God ain't going to stop him. We be sitting up there mad at God. Tomorrow, why you didn't? God be like, uh-uh. I ain't finna stop nothing. God stand right. Like, go ahead. Because <laughs> God gonna see. Is he still stupid? Is she still stupid? You know that woman beat you out of all your money. You know she. You know all she want is your money. And God gonna send her back again just to see if you still stupid. I, I know that's a strong word, but I'm telling y'all some real stuff. We we got to hear this. We got to hear this. How many times we going to fall in the mud? How many times? How many times? At some point, we got to get it right. We got to get it together because your purpose is calling you. Your destiny is calling you. If you don't get off the merry-go-round, the devil going to keep you on the merry-go-round for the rest of your life. A lot of folks, they get on it and they die up there. They don't never get off. I want you to hear this message today and I want you to get off. I want you to get off. And let me tell all my sisters and my brothers, my queens and my kings something. I don't care how many times you fall with this, you keep getting back up. You keep getting back up because I had to fall a lot of times. Do you understand me? I had to fall a lot of times until I had that one day. Let me tell you something. You're going to have that one day where you say, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. And you know what? That, that strength right there is silent. It don't do a lot of talking. It don't do a lot of talking. I remember being being married and I remember telling my mama, oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm through. Telling my sisters, oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm through. We getting my stuff. We moving my stuff out. We doing this. We doing that. I'm doing all that talking. Doing all that talking. And what end up happening? I'm right by. I'm right by. Sooner they ain't looking. Sooner they ain't looking. I'm right by. But let me tell y'all something. That one day gonna come. Well, you ain't gonna do you you make up in your mind and you don't tell nobody do you understand me it's a silence that you have within yourself you make up in your mind don't nobody on the outside know what's getting ready to take place but you know within yourself that you don't you don't and when you get up that last time you ain't coming back you ain't coming back okay what r kelly said baby when a woman fed up okay when you done that when you finish that last time when you done fought your last fight and you refuse to fight again and you get up, you ain't coming by. You ain't coming by. And it wasn't nobody else. It wasn't nobody else. It was me. Like they said, when somebody leave you for, for them, they ain't coming by. They ain't coming by, baby. Maybe if they left you for somebody else, they might try to come by. But if, if, if she left for herself, she ain't coming by. Because that woman was tired. Okay. See, we got to get to that point where we tired. When, we, when you say you tired, not, not on the physical, not on the outside, but when you feel it within your spirit, when your spirit says, I am tired, that's when you're going to go. And you're not going to look back. And they're going to try to come back. And it's going to hurt because let me tell you, it's going to feel like a death in the family. It's going to feel like somebody died because it was a death. It was the death of a marriage. It was the death of a, of a friendship. It was the death of a relationship. And it hurts to the core it hurts but you got to keep going baby because life goes on life goes on there is purpose for you there is greater for you there is destiny for you and yeah you're gonna have your moments where you, it's gonna get so hard you want to give up but you can't it's people that's depending on you you got children your children depending on you if you if you in your purpose if you have a platform there's people out there that's depending on you i don't care if it ain't but one person they depending on you you're going to be missed. If you don't show up, you're going to be missed. So we got to take our eyes off our past. We can't move forward looking behind us. We can't move forward when we're looking behind us. We got to keep looking ahead. Apostle Paul says, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. <laughs> I am forgetting those things which are behind me. In other words, Apostle Paul say, look, I might not have it all together. I might make some mistakes. I might fall sometimes. Come on now. Because you're going to fall sometimes. I don't care who you are. You're going to fall. The righteous man falls seven times, but he get back up again. 
So if you fall, don't stay there long. Get up. Get up. I don't care how many times you block and unblock. Block and unblock. Block and unblock. I don't care how many times you fall. You get back up. Now one thing I learned, don't let the devil beat you down with your consciousness. Don't let the devil beat you down with guilt. You get back up, baby. Because if you woke up this morning, God still has need of you. God got something important he wants you to do. God ain't concerned about how many times you fail. God just wants you to get back up, get in the race, keep moving, keep going. Because you're going to have that one day where you're not, you're going to get up and you're not going back. You're not going back. The devil wants you to give up. He wants you to lose all hope. He wants you to say hope is lost. You might as well just settle. You might as well just stay here. You might as well just deal with this. You might as well just deal with that. The devil is a liar. Come on now. The Lord said, watch out. Watch out now. Because you think you finna keep walking around here looking all good. Smelling all good. Glowed up. Living in your purpose. And these devils ain't gonna try to come by Ryan. And I don't care if you married. Some of y'all married. Y'all in new relationships. Y'all got new friends. You these folk don't care. These demons don't care, baby. They'll still come by. They still try to come by and see if you stupid. Still try to come back and mess up everything you got. They don't care nothing about what you got. They want your power. They want that glow. They want that energy. Your energy good, you smiling all the time. They can't stand that. People can't stand to see you smiling because they miserable. They miserable. They, they broke, busted, and disgusted. They can't stand just because you woke up and, and got up and got a smile on your face. People will hate you. Why? Because they miserable. That's them spirits in them folk, baby. Don't take it personal. That's them spirits. Them spirits irritated. They irritated by your glow. They irritated by your smile. They irritated. Because you can bounce back. And out of everything that, done, that the devil done hit you with, you still standing. Them spirits can't stand that. And they coming back. They coming back to try to trip you up. They coming back. So you got to be smart. The Lord said you got to watch out. Watch out. Okay? I love y'all so much. I am Latoya O'Kill. Like I said, if y'all are not subscribed to me on YouTube, make sure y'all look me up on YouTube, Latoya O'Kill. Make sure you subscribe because I put content on my YouTube channel every day as well as my Instagram here. Every single one of y'all on this live, make sure y'all follow me here on Instagram. Get that motivation. Get that word every day because you need it. I am a uh, business mentor for life coaches. So for any of you that desire to be a life coach, a life coach is a motivational friend, a personal support system. If you the go-to person in your circle, people come to you for advice. People come to you to vent. People come to you, you know, because they like talking to you. They like your energy. They like your spirit. And they always feel better when they talk to you. And they feel comfortable. They trust you. They talk about their issues with you. You ain't going there for all that, but you find somebody, somebody to end up finding you and steal you for about an hour and you just trying to get out of there and they just talking your head off baby you need to come get this life coach certification and you need to start your life coaching business okay so i train and certify men and women to become life coaches i teach you how to start your life coaching business from scratch okay so y'all come and interact with me make sure y'all visit my website i am latoyaokill.com you know what if you i tell you the perfect place you need to start go to my instagram page click the link in my bio and take my free life coaching 101 masterclass that's a one hour long free class where i teach you the basics of life coaching and i go over everything that's in my course okay so i want to see y'all i want to work with y'all because let me tell you something when these spirits when these people start coming back if you don't have something that you involved in it ain't got to be life coaching but it need to be something okay if you ain't got something that you involved in that you that's got you purpose-minded and got you focused you're gonna fall for it you're gonna fall for it do you understand me you're gonna fall for it because you're gonna be bored because you're not you don't like what you do on your job you ain't got nothing that's sparking that's that's pulling your interest you don't have a vision you don't have a purpose so you're gonna fall for what they what they putting out okay so you need to have something that's gonna keep you focused like i said it ain't got to be life coaching but it need to be something even if you love your nine to five, y'all, you still need to have something that they cannot fire you from. You need to have something that, that's got your name on it, okay? Because you got to you have your focus right because these spirits ain't playing. I'm telling y'all. I love y'all so much. I got to get going, but I'll check in with y'all later.